Hey everyone, welcome back to Lucky by Nature, Angelic Vixen here. So in this video, we are going to be taking a detailed look at Raptor Claws and Gacha Claws, and we are going to cover a lot of the questions that you guys have had about this event and how it works and how to get better loot, so on and so forth. And you know, things like, how does this work on Aberration, things like that. So we are going to cover a lot in this video. So it is going to be longer than usual, but I think it'll be worth it because I am going to be showing you a lot of information. The footage itself was much longer, so I did have to speed it up in certain parts, which you will see, but it's just so I don't have to drag it out because it was nearly double the time that you're actually seeing this video. So what I'm showing you right now is what Raptor Claws looks like when it comes out, okay? And Raptor Claws comes out every single game day at midnight to 2 a.m. So from midnight to 2 a.m. in game, Raptor Claws comes out on every single map, including Aberration. And I will show you where Raptor Claws spawns on Aberration so you know what you're dealing with. It's going to be much harder on Aberration, but it is completely doable if that's your map that you play on primarily, okay? So this is Raptor Claws. Raptor Claws drops several packages, and they are spread out at a pretty decent distance apart. And I think the reason this happened was so that one tribe basically wouldn't monopolize every single package, at least not easily. One thing we did notice is you are able to get about two packages. One person can get about two packages before they expire because there are, you know, timers for these. And we were not able to get them in Sky. We had to wait for them to land. And we tried everything on this Quetz platform to try to get it. And it didn't work for us. So I don't know. For us personally, I don't think it's possible. I think that they want you to have to pick it up. And what happens is it goes down to the ground, lands, and then there's that, you know, few second delay, and then you'll see access inventory, and then you can pull the stuff out. So, again, you should be able to get one, maybe two packages. Of course, on the servers, everybody comes after the packages at the same time, so you can guarantee there's going to be a fight, especially in PvP. I expect some major battles, although I do see in PvE this uh, affecting friendships or, you know, just being reasonable with each other in tribes because everybody's going to want them. Some people are going to hoard them and it's going to cause problems. There's just no way around it. So, you know, just keep that in the back of your mind. The loot is worth it because there is usually some pretty good stuff. We got some ascendant items, you know, and the quality, the damage quality was really good. But, you know, just know that this is going to cause problems. There's no way around it because there's not that many packages and waiting every single, you know, time the Raptor Claws comes out. You can fully expect, you know, drama on the servers for people trying to get these packages and trying to negotiate, well, I, you got the package last time, I want the package this time, you know, things of that nature. And what I am showing you is real time exactly what we're dealing with if you follow the package. It takes a while, okay? So it landed right here and Beast is coming down. This is actually on our dedicated server. Beast is coming down to the package and he's going to go in it. And the stuff is heavy. Coal is ridiculously heavy, okay? And if these packages land somewhere dangerous, you can expect to have problems. So be ready for anything, okay? So here we go. He goes into it, and he gets all the stuff, and he's encumbered. Look at all the stuff he got, though. He got an Ascendant gas bag saddle. Um, let's see what else. He's going to go into his inventory right here. Look at all the good stuff that you can get. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, you get your coal, you get your mistletoe. You do not want to take them right away to the gacha claws because you want to try to get as much coal and mistletoe as you can. Okay, so it's easy to see on the maps where there's actually nighttime. You can see everything pretty clear. So raptor claws appears on um, aberration at the surface. This is why it's going to be a problem because one, when you go to the surface, it's a nightmare because there's so much stuff up there. And two, you don't always have that long for it to stay nighttime. So you need to be ready for anything and be able to move fast. So that's what it looks like on Aberration. So depending on which ob you're next to, you may not see it. And that is the other issue that I see for Aberration. But I wanted you to know where you can find Raptor Claws because people were asking us, you know, where to find Raptor Claws on Aberration. So that's where you find it, on the surface. Now we're going to jump into the testing of the Gacha Claws. Now all the Gacha Clauses that I have here are all females. It's starting to look like they're all female Gachas. I have three different levels, 15, 35, and 100, because I want to see if the level of the Gacha really makes a difference. And again, as you can see, I had to speed this up because I did it in real time. And I mean, this video was double the time than what it is right now. So I am just showing you, you know, that I did everything legit here, but it's just faster so that I'm not 
driving you guys crazy with like a 40 minute video because I didn't want to do that to you. But as you can see, I'm getting some pretty good stuff, okay? And I'm going to break it down between the two. So, you know, that way you get to see both. So I'm getting all the goodies for the winter wonderland, you know, the wreath, the packages, the stockings, the tree, you know, you'll see it as we progress between them, all the cool stuff that I got. I'm getting skins. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. Okay, and of course, this is the coal test. I'm doing the coal first in the 15 level gacha, okay? I'm not really impressed all that much with this. And I'm not gonna tell you, you know, how you should feel about these results because you're watching it, you know, live. You make the decision. I did not see a huge significant difference between the different levels of the gacha. You may feel differently about the results and that is perfectly fine, which is why I give you this information for you guys to decide, okay? While we're watching this, I do wanna talk about the candies. There are three levels with the candies. There's Primitive, Mastercraft, and Descendant. And while you're watching, you can just kinda of listen to me talk. Um, the Primitive candy gets 5% increase on speed. The Mastercraft is 10% on speed, and the Ascendant is 15% on speed, okay? So now I'm just going to do my boxes like I always do with testing. That way you can see exactly what we got based on what we were testing. So on this, I tested both the coal and the mistletoe just to see, you know, which one ends up being better. In my opinion, based on this test, I will share with you that I feel like you get better stuff usually with mistletoe. But when you're watching this, you may feel differently about the coal. Now, the coal is extremely heavy, so you can't even carry that much um, at a time. That is something to keep in mind. So the mistletoe seems to produce some decent stuff, and it's not that heavy, okay? These are just things that I want to throw out there for you to, you know, think about when you're dealing with this, okay? So I'm getting some pretty good stuff. Like, that's actually pretty good. Um... And as you can see, I'm working on the mistletoe. Um, so, I, I mean, I just want you to know where I'm at. And what I did is I spawned in a dodo because the gacha claws supposedly do not like it when they are wi around wild dinos. I didn't notice a significant difference in their production when they were by dinos. And as you can see in this footage, you will see other wild dinos around them on purpose because I want to see. So it says to clear out all wild dinos, kill them, get them away from the gacha claws and that's important however i personally didn't see a significant impact on anything being around them you may feel differently but i want you to know what i found okay and i slowed the video down back to real time so we can go through the boxes together so you can see what we're getting this is not bad and this is the lower level gacha okay so again i'm not really seeing a significant difference between the levels of gachas and you will see that as we progress through this video Okay, so this is what I got, you know, coal versus mistletoe, okay? I wasn't impressed, actually, with the coal. The mistletoe seemed to do better for this test, okay? All right, so now we're going to speed it up again, and we're going to go over to the 35 and the 100, okay? And we're doing mistletoe first, and we're going to go through, and we're going to see what we get, okay? So let's just keep going. Now, one of the other things that I wanted to mention, and I will show you this in effect in the video, is the gift boxes are actually a really neat thing to do. So if you put your tribe member's name on the gift box, only they, I busted that door when I was trying to get rid of the wild dinos, <laughs> ah, only they can open up the, um, the gift package and you can put in some really cute little goodies inside the little package and then they go in to open it, it explodes, you know, with confetti, so they make it really like animated and cute, and then they can pull out the gifts. I see this being really fun on, you know, our servers, our Xbox servers, because I can go around and just leave people gifts, and I'm really excited because I want to do that. Like, I really just enjoy it so much, hanging out with you guys on our servers, and I just can't wait to add a few more things that are fun. So I'm just getting rid of these dodos, again, just for my um, satisfaction of testing. Like, I want to see if there was a significant change if I took those out. And I know, again, this is really fast, but this footage actually was much longer. And I try so hard not to make like 40 minute videos. That is just never anything that I'm even remotely interested in dealing with, okay? So we're just gonna flip around here, keep doing all this testing, putting the stuff in the boxes that it goes. And at the end, I'm gonna open them all up. I'm just, it was very time consuming at doing it the other way. So just picking them up. 
Again, we already did, we're doing the mistletoe, we're doing the coal on the level 35 and the level 100. All right, so now I'm gonna slow it down because we are going to be reviewing exactly what um, I was just showing you. And again, as you guys know, if you've watched any of the other Gacha production videos, the reason I leave that in is so you guys can verify exactly what I'm doing. It's really important to me that I show all this stuff to you um, to prove it because it's only fair and it's out of respect to you guys that I do it. All right, so look what we've got. We got the snowman, we've got the candies, we've got the wreath, we got the stockings, and we got another skin. Um, wow, I like this. This is this is really cool. Um, as far as like you know the winter wonderland aspect of it, I'm going to show you in action what happens with the package because you know again I want you to understand exactly how this stuff is you know designed so that you can have some fun of your own you know on your own servers, leaving stuff for your tribe mates or leaving it for other people. You just put in your person see a gift for and then it's got my name on there and you can put up to three things it looks like and then when you open it look. See, you get the, the confetti and it makes it really cute and animated. And I just, I really appreciate little things like that. Um, I know it might seem silly, but for me, it's just exciting because it's different and it's new. You usually get a lot of candies and I like that because there's multiple creatures and here I'll just, I'll do another example for you so you can kind of see how this works. Um, there's multiple dinos that you would want to give the candy to. So I put in a gift. Okay. I just want you to see it. And I'm gonna put my name on it again. And I want you to see what happens when they open it up with the gift. And then you open it, the confetti, it's so cute. And then there's your package with whatever's inside and they can pick it up, okay? And I want you to also look at the weight on the coal. I want you to see how much it weighs. That is very, very heavy, okay? So when you're dealing with coal, just be prepared to maybe have a dinosaur with really high weight so that, you know, you can handle that, okay? So that was coal, this is what we got out of coal. If you're looking for ascendant items, that's actually not that impressive. So now let's go over to the mistletoe, okay? Let's open everything up. And again, as you know, I'm spending a lot more time on this part, because this is the part that really truly matters. And also I noticed from our own servers, there's usually about three or four, there might even be more, but I found about four, um, gacha claws at any time. And no, you do not find them only in the forest on um, extinction. They are wherever parasaurs spawn. That's how they are designed. So wherever parasaurs spawn is where you will, can find a gacha claws, okay? So for me, mistletoe gave us a little bit better and that was the level 100. Now we're gonna go over and check the level 35, okay? I try to keep this stuff nice and neatly organized, you know, just so it's easier to, you know, see everything. So we've got Mastercraft Festive Dino candy, we've got primitive candy. We got an ascendant pistol. Oh, I like this. This is pretty good. Now this was the level 35. And then also with the colors, I want to clarify on the colors. So you will, if you feed this to your dino, change their colors based on the zones that they can actually um, have color. Not every dinosaur has zones for color. So you're going to want to reference probably Gamepedia for ARC to see before you waste a candy if you're looking for a specific color combination and not just, you know, enjoying it for its, you know, interesting effect. All right, so as you can see here, I am getting a lot of really good stuff. Now this is the level 35 gacha, and the level 35 gacha, I'm looking at when um, I was testing the coal. So I guess I take back what I initially said that I think mistletoe is where it's at because clearly some gacha clauses are going to give you better stuff with coal. However, based on this testing, I still feel like I got more um, consistency with the mistletoe, but look at the levels on this one. So I'm not really sure if you can control it, but you guys let me know what you think. Again, that's why I share all this with you so you guys can make your own decisions and then share even your opinions about it with me and the art community. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and do some of the testing for the questions that we got and even questions that I had. For instance, if you give gachas, regular gachas, candy, and it speeds them up, does it speed up production, okay? That was something that I was really curious about. Now look at the colors. And so I was telling you, depending on the zones that you can have colors, the candies can make them look really cool, but it's up to you to kind of research, you know, where it says the colors are on that particular candy and what might work with your dino. For instance, this one, watch this. 
this one didn't have much of effect because that one didn't have colors in the zones that the gatches can have color. Okay, so I just want to show you this because I felt like, hey, what happens if you feed candies to regular gachas? Does it make them go like into overdrive in production? Kind of like when they first were released and if you punch them, they would go into overdrive on production. So that was one of the ways that, you know, in the very beginning you could get your gachas to overproduce. So as you can see that 2359 is in the corner to verify that you gave them the candy. And I will just show you again, you know, with another candy, there was nothing, you know, special about giving the gachas the candy other than changing the color because I didn't notice them overproducing or producing better things you know it was all pretty much the same and I'm sure wildcard thought of these things when they put all this in because they're probably trying to prevent that from happening again but just so you know that is one of the things to keep in mind but I'm not seeing anything spectacular by giving them candy other than making them look cool the other thing that you need to know is whatever color you change them and then if you were to breed them you know, during the time that they actually had the color, you're not gonna get babies with that color. That is one of the things that they did block and that information is from Wildcard that even if you change the color of your creature, babies from that creature will not carry that color. So it's not the same as the color event in and of itself. So I want to show you how much faster they go because I feel like a lot of people will probably use the candies with the speed on flyers because that is one of the things that we definitely, the majority of us miss about flyers ever since they got nerfed. You know, they're definitely not as fast. There's not a significant difference in my opinion in their speed, but they are faster. So you will get from point A to point B much faster if you give your flyers candy. Now, some of you may want to use it for your worker, you know, creatures. There's another Santa. You will always find one in the sanctuary because wherever parasaurs spawn, that's where you could find a, a Santa, um, you know, gatch claws. So now you can see just how much faster the owl is. If you ride the owls, you'll recognize the increase. I can feel it when I'm flying, you know, that there is a nice little boost to the speed. But again, you might want to use it for your worker dinos because, you know, like Dodickies and Ankies, they're slow. It's not going to be significant. So I don't want to... I'm not going to mislead you. Like, it's not going to be so significant that you're like, yeah, this is back to the way it used to be. And grieving can be an issue and all that. I want to show you what happens if you try to add it to the Titans. It doesn't work on any of the Titans. But as you guys know, I like to prove this stuff to you. So I got my Titan here from my testing. And I'm going to show you me feeding it that nothing happens. Okay. So they definitely prevented it from increasing the speed of, you know, your Titan. See? It doesn't even get the effect in the corner. It doesn't change the color. The candies do not work, so do not waste them on Titans. It does not work, okay? So again, just to show you, I like to prove it. I don't like to just say stuff. I don't like to try to, I don't assume. I try not to assume almost ever because I would rather test it out and see because what if, as we know, Wildcard forgot to check a mechanic or forgot to think of every single thing utterly possible. And with so many humans, you know, looking at, at their game under, you know, extreme scrutiny of, you know, testing and all these things. Like, and, you know, you just got to keep all that in mind. Again, as you can see here, I'm testing that we ourselves cannot eat the candy. I knew that, but again, out of respect to you guys, I always like to check it so you guys can see it yourself. Now, as you can imagine, wyverns and all that will be much faster, but I do want to show you what happens on a gas bag. <laughs> I don't recommend doing this because as you know, when they land, they take major damage, but uh, the gas bags are significantly faster. This was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, they're fast overall, but I mean, you can't really even control it. It's kind of nuts. I. <laughs> this was just kind of fun, but yeah. Um, gas bags will probably be one of the ones I don't use it on and I'm in GCM so it won't die on this land but yeah anyway that's it for this video guys if you have any other questions be sure to put them in the comments if you have any other information be sure to share it in the comments love you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time keep surviving my work saved the human race